Bitcoin made its new all-time high, all the AI coins pumped, everyone was buying dog meme coins, and then they're coins from the Cosmos ecosystem, just chilling, doing its own thing. When are they gonna pump? Probably soon, I hope. If you're already holding some of them, just relax. If you don't, there's still time to accumulate. All right, today, we're gonna go through a list of coins that I believe will stir up the entire Cosmos ecosystem. We're gonna cover four large cap coin and a small cap hidden gem. The large cap coins have been proven by the recent price actions, but still has a lot of growth in this bull market. And the hidden gem is the one with devs working hard day in and day out, but still needs some marketing pushes for the mainstream to pick up. The first one we have is Celestia. Celestia is a modular blockchain providing a dedicated data availability layer for rollups and layer two solution. It's like a specialized storage system for important data on a blockchain. It makes sure that all your transaction info can be accessed easily by everyone in the network. This helps maintain the trust and reliability of the network, allowing everyone to double check and confirm that transactions are legitimate. Celestia focuses on organizing and storing transactions data outside of the main blockchain. Rollups and layer twos can benefit from Celestia security feature without having to bring in new validators. Let's look at their tokenomics. Market cap is at $2 billion. Only 17% of the supply is unlocked. And I believe the next unlocked is going to be August. So for August or September, four or five months from now. Short term, you can see that Celestia is bleeding like crazy. Last week it was $15, right now it's 11. But if you have high conviction, and of course we're in it for the long run. So the value is just there. It's just the price hasn't catch up to it. And a few months back, it went up to like $20 because of all the hypes around. If you stake Tia, you're gonna eligible for airdrops, which still stand true till this day. If you hold Tia, it doesn't hurt to stake some. Okay, next on the list we have Injective. Injective is a blockchain that is built for finance. They want to be the fastest layer one blockchain that shapes the future of finance. Injective allows the developer to build on its smart contract platform and create DeFi apps. All the apps within Injective's ecosystem can natively access other layer one chains such as Ethereum, Cosmos, and Solana. Um, some well-known apps on Injective's that I use is Helix, Hydro Protocol, and Talus Protocol. If you stake some Injective, I believe you might be eligible for Hydro Protocol's airdrop. I know I got some. Let's look at their tokenomics. Injective reached all-time high in March 13, so like half a month ago. Wow, it went up to 50 bucks. All right, current market cap is $2.8 billion, with 89% of it is unlocked. I have a bag of Injective, and I stake some of them for future airdrops. Like I know Black Panther and Prism, if you stake with Prism's validator, you might be eligible for the Prism future airdrop. All right, next up we have Dimension. Dimension had a really successful launch earlier this year. Dimension is where you can easily deploy a lightning fast app chain called Rollapps. Think of a foundation of a building. It's a layer one network that provides the base for everything. On top of this foundation, there are what we call Rollapps, which are like separate rooms in the building. These Rollapps are part of the layer twos and Dimension is specially designed to keep track of them and make sure they work smoothly. The setup is different from Ethereum layer twos, which rely on smart contracts for settlement and data availability. Let's look at Dimension tokenomics. Current market cap is under one bill, which is 800 mil. Only 16% of it is unlocked. It's launched earlier this year in Feb, ran up all the way to $8. I got some Dimension airdrop and then I stake most of it just so I can earn more future airdrops. So I'm sure you already done that. Next on the list, we have Axelar. Axelar network is a bridge connecting different blockchains. It allows people to move funds between different blockchains, no matter where their assets are. You know how Ethereum has built programmable money? Axelar is building a programmable interoperability. Unlike other cross-chain connectors, Axelar is a proof of stake blockchain. It can do anything a blockchain can do. Transparent smart contracts built on Axelar automate paths for users, reducing them to a single click. Permissionless tools reduce developer overhead. Now, anyone in the world can connect, interact, 
and built across 50 plus blockchain. With the absurd amount of blockchains nowadays, I believe Axelar will make our lives a lot easier in the future. The fact that moving money from one chain to another is, is a time consuming process and it's just pain in the ass. So I truly believe Axelar is going to make a difference when it comes to inner chain. Let's look at Axelar price action. If we zoom out, the price has been doing pretty good. All time high was $2.37. Now it's bleeding, but every other token is bleeding right now. Market cap is one bill. Only 54% of it is unlocked. And next up on the list, we have a hidden gem. It's a protocol that takes your data seriously. You know, everything you upload to Facebook or Google is being stored in their data center and they call it cloud storage, but they can access it anytime they want. So your data is essentially exposed and under the mercy of these big tech companies. This is when Jackal comes in. So Jackal is the solution to help store your data and let you access it anywhere, similar to Google Drive, but nobody can access your data, even the developers. Only you can unlock your data with your own private key. So pretty much Jackal is a decentralized storage network that allows you to store your data privately on chain without giving up the speed and the performance. The fundamental of Jackal is a bit complicated to understand for the newbies. So that's why we haven't heard much about it. Because when something is hard to understand, people simply just disregard it. I truly believe in their mission statement of making the web a better place. Let's look at Jackal tokenomics. So imagine buying Jackal last year. It was sitting at, look at this, five cent, two cent, and then it ran up to 12, 20, 40. It almost reached a dollar. So right now it's sitting at 50-ish cent. You still have time to accumulate because I truly believe Jackal is building something exciting when people hear the word data, it sounds meh. The word data sounds kind of gross. But if you really think about the fundamental of how everything is data nowadays, everything that you input into your computer is a piece of data. Everything you upload is a piece of data. It's, it's just everywhere. It's kind of like math. Nobody likes math, but we kind of need it. So that's my take on Jackal. And those are all the Cosmos tokens that I'm paying attention to. Of course, none of this is financial advice. So before you buy anything, always do your own research. Thank you for watching. I've been Nugget. See you next time.